Well, hello everybody. Long time no see. We're still waiting on the garden season to start around here. That said, it is about a week until I should be allowed to safely put my pepper plants outside. So I thought I would show you um, kind of what's going on, really. If you're interested in seeing how the pepper update is uh, doing, stick around. So as you may be aware, I uh, live in the chilly, chilly world of Manitoba. We get a very short gardening season. So I started my peppers uh, like middle of January. And as you can see, a lot of them have not been transplanted out into single containers and are struggling for that reason. Uh, but at the same time, they're not doing terribly poorly. I mean, these guys over here, there's a good example. These guys, these guys look terrible, right? I got a couple of floppy peppers here. and These ones look even worse. Look at that leaf curl. And yet, it's still alive. And what's more interesting is it's producing tons of peppers. I've got that one there. It's got some peppers on it. So this one here, same leaf curl. Got a nice pepper on it. Oh, what is this? This is the matchbox peppers, which still haven't been transplanted out. Got a little green pepper there. See it a little bit better on the side. Another flower there. Put that one going red already. So I'm going to have a pre-planting pepper season, pepper harvest. And I'm just blown away by that. It's just so bizarre. This I find quite interesting. Now this is the purple UFO pepper. The one that has survived. And it looks like a purple cayenne to me. I was kind of expecting something more like that old sand dollar that I had, except purple. So I should have paid more attention to the description, I think. I believe these might be some uh, garden salsa peppers. Two on one plant, ready to go. And another pepper over there. And then the mini bells, still on there. There's another mini bell. Oh, look at this, look at this. How's that for a nice sized pepper over there? Now we've got a mini bell here that's got some leaf curl going on. Oh, puppy, we'll go out in a second. He was out like five minutes ago. Just wants to play in the sun. There's another pepper down there. Looking over here. Horrible leaf curl. Nice looking pepper. So I'm really curious to see how all these plants are going to do when they finally get outside for the season. Because they are <laughs> certainly rocking right along now. And I do think I might just keep one of these match boxes and a couple of other peppers that have decided to produce for me inside. And I'll put them under this Sansi 70 watt light here, LED. This thing's doing pretty well. So if I use it as a focused light, I might be able to get my off-season pepper harvest. But I think I have to let you go because the puppy is just whining his little face off. So maybe a quick closing shot of Mr. Archeroo. Yes, hello Archer. You got so much to say when you're off camera. But you are very hard to get on camera. You are a very black little dog. We need to get him a high visibility hat and vest and stuff so we can actually see him when we take him out at night. But yes, there is Mr. Archer growing up so fast. He's like six months old yesterday. He's getting to be a big dog. He was like 50 something pounds last time I weighed him. Which is getting to be tricky now too. Our scale only goes up to 300 pounds and I'm over two. So we're running out of scale room there. Have to weigh him on a giant sling. Anyway, that's the puppy. Those are the peppers, and I will see you probably tomorrow with a quick update on how the permaculture is looking. Take care, everybody, and happy gardening.